All right, here they are. America's two favorite tool brands for electricians, Ideal and Klein Tools. Um, these are diagonal cutters, and uh, one is a straight diagonal cutter. The other one's an angle diagonal cutter. The angle diagonal cutter is, you know, typically used to, you know, pry nails or pry staples. You can just grab them and just, you know, give them a nice pry, like a kind of like what you would do with a hammer. Um, it's a typical function of them. Um, as far as looking at the uh, logos here, um, the I really like the the dark uh, printing, the nice thick lettering and numbering of uh, the ideal um, and uh, the client has you know the traditional you know linemen uh, up there with you know all the laser etching going on here both of these tools are you know they're they're coated appropriately um, they have a nice sheen to them and uh, there seems to be a little more on the ideal as far as sheen and um, if we look at the you know one thing that really you know that we can see here is uh looks like Klein tried to shave this off uh, but there's still like a little rough edge over here a little catchy rough edge where Ideal really rounded this off, and I, I really like that about the Ideal tool. Um, uh, it seems to be the same thing all around on both sides. There's a, there's a narrow opening here, um, and there's a wider opening here. The rivet on the uh, Klein is a little smaller, and it's a little bit larger on the Ideal. Um, as far as, uh, you know, opening both tools, you know, the Klein usually passes this test. Um, Yep, the client pass. Um, there's a wider opening on the client and uh, not so much of a wider opening on the ideal. If we look at the client, it seems that the client has, if you look at the steel here, you see how the steel just sits on top of the other steel nice and flush, kind of bridges the, the gap uh, between, you know, both pieces of steel here. Same thing seems to be happening on this side, where the ideal, uh, the they left a little gap here um, where you know I feel that if they kind of you know straighten that out uh, this tool would open up even wider um, and you know it looks like there's some area there to be looked at um, both of these tools they they uh, you know they the head is you know they have the same dimensions here they click there, there's other diagonal pliers that you know they're they're a little bit wider so these two fall into the same classification as far as uh handles here let me see here what do we got here we have uh you know a nice comfort grip we have the stoppers here um you know just in case your hand you know gets a little sweaty and it starts working its way up here on the steel you should not be cutting live wire with this anyway um, there's a disclaimer down here uh, will not protect against shock not insulated um, so you know uh, there's you know there's some people that do 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 work on live wires so you can watch out um, there is um, there's no there's no stoppers here but um, Ideal seems to make that up with another method it, it, they have this rubberized this nice rubbery feel um where your fingers don't feel like they're gonna slip anywhere um it, it's it's it feels like you're holding on to an american-made klein screwdriver you know how they have that rubberized handle um this is exactly the the material that it feels like you're holding on to this is great um ideal has uh you know the lettering right here so you know when you put this on your pouch you can uh say hey those are my ideal tools and then they got a little letter d there oh those must be my diagonals um so you know they got a little identification here you know a key color identification you know the blue with the blue so you can know that you know this is the color that you're after um and it, they have these holes here you know so you can host to this uh you know put like a a band around this or something you know to wrap around your neck like uh, or just you know tie it to your tool pouch you know just in case you know this thing happens to fall and you just don't have to go down the ladder chasing after it going after it um, which is I, I really like that one thing that I did find weird though however is uh, 
you know, this, you know, this seems to be like a stretchy kind of, uh, it's like a stretchy situation going on here. There is a, there's another coating of insulation. He, it's not insulation, but there's another coating uh, here, uh, which seems to be this type of material, um, you know, to harden it a bit and give it a little bit of strength. I don't think that this is gonna, you know, come off and, you know, break off or anything like that. Uh, but uh, it, 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 it's a, uh, it's something that I thought it was it was kind of weird, but it seems to be holding up really well so far. I really did stretch the heck out of these, and they don't seem to come off. Um, as far as uh, let's see here, let's get into the uh, the cutting test here. I have a piece of fourteen two, and uh, just put it on the back here with the Klein, and that cuts really well at the at almost nearly at the tip. That cuts really well. Ideal. That cut really well. And the tip. Uh, that seemed to have a uh, shot out like a projectile, like uh, like everybody close your eyes, here it comes. You know, um, where the uh, client tool seems to just gently just you know drop it on the on the workbench here. Um, I, I feel that that's because there's a larger opening on the ideal tool here and a, a narrower opening here and the client kind of like slowly slows down you know uh, how how this thing is gonna shoot out uh, where this just 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 pops right out um, as far as as far as uh, the two let's see here with the client client tool Let's give it a good squeeze. A little bit harder to squeeze and you know break uh you know I'm not the I'm not the strongest guy, so you know uh, I'm gonna try my best here. Okay, that cuts really well. And I'm gonna go at the tip. The tip is usually the hardest with these style pliers, so I'm just gonna give it a good squeeze. Okay, that cut off really well on one hand. And I'm going to use the ideal. Oh, it's not there. Okay, and that shot out, and um, over here at the edge there. Okay, and that shot out like a projectile. Um, you know, what do I have to say about you know cutting 14.2 and 12.2? Of course, 14.12.2 uh, is going to be the strongest, and um, you know this tapered area here, you know, kind of is a little bit uncomfortable. You know, it kind of like almost digs on your hand there um, and uh, you feel kind of more like you need to grab the tool on the bottom here of the of the you know handle where with the ideal there is a a nice grip all the way around and uh, there's no tapered edge that you know digs in this area here it's just comfortable all the way around this is a really nice handle guys uh, guys and gals um, this is uh, for all you electricians out there, you know, looking for something of comfort. And uh, I have this little final test here. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, going to use this piece of Romex here, but it's, uh, it doesn't have wire inside. It just has the vinyl and it has the paper. And some people, they do this, uh, they do this test with cutting just a piece of paper. I figure, oh, there's already a paper there, let me try that. Um, so, you know, when the idea is that when you cut, you know, the paper is supposed to come off with it too. So let's uh, let's give that a go. Just gonna gently press down and, and uh, that comes off. And uh, get at the tip and Open that up, and that comes off. Nice clean cut. Cut the paper really nicely. Over here with the ideal. Just gonna press on that and open that up, and uh, paper's disconnected there. And um, press on this here and the edge over here. And both of these tools, they, you know, they pass the test. Um, had that not been the case, if I were to, uh, you know, cut this, the paper would have like 
hung off or just you know it it, it, it would have stayed there um, so it cuts right through the vinyl and it cuts just as thin as paper um, these are uh, two really good brands uh, you know to buy um, as far as uh, as far as I know it uh, they they've been around for years and uh, they make good reliable tools and I would pick any one of these up uh, you know both of these uh, both of these are my tools and they're they're my tool pouch and I don't see why anybody wouldn't want to you know have that on your their tool pouch or their tool bag um, I think that's it hope you like my video Please feel free to comment and uh, don't forget to subscribe and until next time.